changing my topic on um, a documentary called The Cove, and it came out in 2009, and it was created by the OPS, which is the Oceanic Preservation Society. Have any of you ever like heard of this movie or documentary? Um, okay, so that's why I want to share it, because no one really knows about it, and it's kind of, I think everyone should know about it, because it's really, really important. Um, and this is what's happening. In Taiji, Japan, there's this cove, um, which is like located right here. And it, Taiji is like known as the city with um, like a huge secret because even the people in Taiji have no idea this is going on and they live there, which is the government's doing. And what happens is 2,000 dolphins, or actually more, but this chart just says this, um, each year are killed in this little cove. And last year only 800 were killed. And this movie's been out for five years, but nothing can still be done because it's so powerful. And it's a multi-billion dollar industry. And each dolphin actually sells for um, $150,000 each. So the dolphins that you see at like SeaWorld and like Discovery Cove, and I'm guilty actually because I swam with dolphins too, so, and now I actually know where they came from. So, um, and it started in 1960s with a show called Flipper, and this guy, this is Rick O'Berry, and he was hired to go out and um, find two dolphins that would play the role of Flipper and he actually went himself and captured two dolphins just in the sea. And this show went on for 10 years, and his one of the dolphins actually committed suicide because it was so depressed, because that's what usually happens. They, um, what they do, like it takes, the, it's like effort for them to come up and take breaths. And his dolphin, Kathy, who played the role of Slipper, um, she just didn't take a breath and she just kind of like drowned herself in the water in his arms. So that's kind of so bad. <laughs> um, this is the cove like before anything happens. Um, this, is, this isn't like a frontal view or anything, but um, the seasons go from September through March. So it's happening right now. And um, this is what it looks like after all the dolphins are killed and the meat uh, they use goes to the supermarkets and sold as whale meat. So people of Taiji think they're eating really healthy whale meat when really they're eating poisoned mercury meat. And also the leftover meat gets put into the school systems in Taiji. So all the kids there are getting poisoned with mercury and no one knows about it, which is like the worst part. And this is also a picture of them like getting them onto the boat. It's like the most brutal thing I've ever watched. Um, and this is what happens. <coughs> Mercury is the most toxic, non-radioactive element like in the world. So when it gets into the water systems, like little krill will eat, like get infected, and then the salmon will eat the krill, and then the trout will eat the salmon, and then it's just like a chain link like that. And then when we are eating the fish too, not necessarily here, but in Japan, they're eating fish that is just filled with mercury, and it's so bad because. Um, Mercury is not just like you get it, you ingest it, and you die. It's like it's a very slowly killing disease, and it can cause cerebral palsy, extreme brain damage. And um, actually, after this documentary came out, two people who are in charge of the school systems in Taiji they actually stopped serving, like they got the government to stop serving um, the dolphin meat there. But when they took um, Rick O'Berry, I think you should just watch this because there's not, I can't give you like all the information, but Rick O'Berry went into the IWS, which is like um, an international like whale society where all the countries represent um, like whale poaching and stuff like that. And he went in with a, like a TV screen on and he showed, um, he was showing the killings that they got, like all the recordings that they got because they put cameras in rocks and they hit this was the most dangerous thing ever, because if you get arrested in Taiji, they can just keep you in jail for no reason and torture you until you, they get the any evidence that they want out of you. So he and his 
people that volunteered to do this, they went and they hid cameras in rocks and like put stuff underwater and they got all this um, really nice video footage that had never been seen before. So now that it's out, people are trying, a lot of people are trying to like stop it.